Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, Microsoft started to roll out the Windows 11 version 22H2 feature update. And what I thought we could do in this video, um, in case you would be interested or maybe were just unaware, is just take a quick look at some of the most notable changes and improvements that did roll out with the feature update. And this is by no means going to be an in-depth guide to every new feature and aspect of Windows 11 version 22H2, but just what I would call a quick look at some of the key highlights just by um, quickly um, going through the um, operating system of the updating. Now, in no particular order, um, the first is um, if you do use your keyboard um, keys for the volume and brightness, you'll notice that that um, interface that pops up for brightness and volume um, now has the new fluent look to match that of Windows 11. So that's taken on the more modern look and feel of Windows 11 for the brightness and volume that uh, pop up interface. And then Focus Assist, which is now called uh, Do Not Disturb, has now been integrated into the no notification center for easier access. And while we are talking about Focus Assist, if we just head to the uh, settings menu, the system page, yeah, you'll see a new um, option, focus, reduce distractions, which is the new focus sessions that help you get more done by reducing distractions. When you start a session, these settings will apply for a set amount of time. You can start the focus session straight from this page. You have the session duration, which you can decrease and increase. And then, yeah, you have a couple of options and you can actually show um, the timer in the clock app and there's a couple of options for that and and one of those is and um, you can show the focus sessions here um, in the notification um, center in the at the bottom of the calendar where you can um, adjust that time and then you can start and stop that focus session so you have the um, do not disturb and the focus sessions now integrated into the notification center uh, so if you do use those features that's now accessible in one handy menu and then uh, the start menu, um, the start menu now has um, folder support. So how we create a folder is we just drag an app on top of another one and that creates a folder. And you can also edit that name and rename that folder. And if you want to put things back to how they were, you can just drag uh, the app back onto the start menu and then you can just arrange that accordingly. So the start menu now has um, support for creating folders and then staying with the start menu you now have three different layouts so if we go to personalization start we have three different layouts and um, the first is more pins which gives you more space for your pinned apps and less for recommended recent files and apps which i use and then you get default which is a balance between the two the same amount of space for pinned and recommended and then the third option more recommendations which obviously gives you more space for recommended and less for pinned apps. And as mentioned, I like to use more pins as I actually don't use recommended. So I actually found this quite handy. And then um, we have drag and drop support for the taskbar. So just to uh, demonstrate, I'm just going to create any text document just to uh, demonstrate for the purposes of this video. And then I'm going to open up the file explorer and let that reside on the taskbar, minimize that to taskbar. And now we can drag and drop files as an example into the file explorer and i can pop that into my downloads and there we go drag and drop support now is um, now available in windows 11 version 22h2 for the taskbar and then um also now regarding the snap layouts and i'm just going to use the file explorer again and um, just to demonstrate previously uh, you could access snap layouts by hovering over the um, maximize button and then have access to all those different layouts now in version 22H2, um, you'll notice um, when you move um, an app or a window around, um, there's a new snap layouts menu that drops down from the top of the screen when you move the window around. So yeah, you'll see, there you go, it drops down and I can just move across that and choose any layout. And that's just a new handy snap layouts menu that drops down from the top of the screen. So if you do use that, you might find that um, quite handy for the snap layouts. And then, um, as mentioned, this is not an in-depth guide, but just a brief overview. And um, heading back to uh, the settings menu, and this time to the accounts uh, page. And there's a new Microsoft 365 account page uh, yeah, in the accounts area. And I, I don't use Microsoft 365, um, but if you do, um, it basically will give you an overview 
um, of your um, um, your account, your subscription, quick access to your online settings and services for Microsoft 365. And there's also a new family safety page yeah, um, on the accounts page. And if you click on that, um, basically it's des designed um, to give you quick access to all the family safety options um, that, um, if you do use this service, um, which says um, manage family safety settings, see family activity and more. So that's family safety page also available now um, on that accounts page in the settings menu. And then moving on back to the file explorer which has also received a couple of improvements and um, the first is that quick access has now been renamed to home so we can see there's it's been called home now and if we click click on that and um, we get now pinned files so this is a section in the quick access um, area now um, and you can pin any files in this quick access area now and basically have quick access to those at a later date and refer back to those and it's basically called favorites and has been renamed to home as mentioned and then the feature I like is um, OneDrive integration into the file explorer where um, if you click on OneDrive you will see now that you get your OneDrive quota as we can see my storage quota and then we can have a shortcut to the recycle bin um, we can view online and then also set it, we can have quick access to our settings for OneDrive and this one I personally like um, uh, OneDrive integration into the file explorer as I do use OneDrive on a regular basis and then the task manager although the task manager has more or less the same options as it did previously and um, it's basically just received a visual redesign and yeah we can see it now supports dark mode the options that were at the top are now on the left and you can actually uh, maximize and minimize those. Uh, we have a settings um, a menu now as well, integrated into the task manager. And also yeah, on the processes, you can see it's using the system accent color. You can see it's picking up the blue from my um, system accent from my wallpaper. And it's, as mentioned, although the options are more or less the same, it's just received a visual redesign to match that of um, the modern look and feel of Windows 11. And then, um, there's been two new apps, web apps, that have rolled out in version 22H2. Um, the first is the if a Family Safety web app. Now, I've uninstalled the Family Safety app as I don't use the, the, the feature or the service, and I don't require the Family Safety app. But if you do, um, as mentioned previously, it gives you quick access um, to your family, basically an overview of your family, including the locations of your kids and your children. Um, activities in your shared family calendar and other tools to manage your family and your household using the family safety web app and then the other new app um, that has been added as i've also mentioned previously is clipchamp which is uh, the new video editor and um, this is going to be uh, rolling out um, by default as the new uh, uh, windows 11 video editor um, in the next month or so and it's actually going to replace the legacy video editor and um, next month in October Microsoft is rolling out a new updated photos app and when they do that um, they are removing the legacy uh, uh, video editor and Clipchamp then is going to become the default um, video editor for Windows 11 so Clipchamp now a new web-based video editor in version 22h2 and then um, um, just to mention one or two um, new features just to end off this video and um, we have some new accessibility um, options and the first one is there's a new live captions a new live captions accessibility feature so just heading back to the settings menu accessibility yeah you get captions styles live captions and uh, it says your live captions audio and video will be captioned live on your screen so if you toggle that on you can use the feature you have some keyboard shortcuts and just take note though that live captions are, are currently available in english united states only and um, so just take note of that and then another new accessibility feature um if you just head back to accessibility and we go to speech this time is there's new voice access a new voice access accessibility feature and it says a voice access modern voice command feature to help you interact with your pc and dictate text currently available in english united states so just take note of that and then obviously you just toggle on the feature to use it and then last, last but not least um we now have marcus support for some of the um old legacy um apps uh, in windows 11 version 22 h2 so just as an example if i open 
the legacy device manager, you will notice now that the title bar here at the top now takes on a marker effect and it's also picking up that blue color from my um, my desktop wallpaper. So now the legacy um, apps, some of those legacy apps now have that marker effect in the title bar. So that's um, give or take a couple of the new features and highlights that have rolled out in Windows 11 version 22H2. And as I said, this is not a comprehensive list, list but just a couple of the notable changes in the Windows 11 2022 feature update. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.